Uh oh. Big Joe. Cheap travels. Travel on a budget. Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. So today I want to update you on my Egypt trip. So as you know, if you watch my previous video, they canceled my flight on 29th of November and rescheduled it, it um, to 2nd of December. And uh, as you know, my hotel, hotel at booking.com did not have a con cancellation option so I wrote to the hotel and asked them if they would cancel it free of charge and guess what they did they did it <laughs> so yeah this kind of break my stereotype of Egyptians being greedy and uh, <laughs> wanting only money so yeah I like Egyptians now <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they cancelled the uh, the hotel reservation free of charge, and I made a new hotel reservation, and this time I booked two two hotels, uh, one for one week and the other one for another week. So one in Nama Bay, that's like the touristic area of Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, and the other one is next to the mosque, uh, to the old town, uh, to the old city. So. I think I'll spend one a week in the touristy area and the other one in the authentic Egyptian style do -do 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 -do. <laughs> uh, place, you know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's about hotel. Uh, second thing is about transfers, uh, airport transfers. So I managed to get that as well to this new hotel and uh, if you check the link below where i booked the transfers i booked it there and it cost me like uh, seven euros from uh, the airport in sharm el sheikh to nama bay so that's also quite a good deal you know and it says they will wait me there with a sign with my name on it and <laughs> it's like a shared shuttle bus so uh, up to one hour and i should be in the hotel that's what they promised sir that's about that and another thing I want to mention because my flight was cancelled like uh, 72 hours before the departure I also filed a compensation claim not me myself but this company that do it it's also in the links in the description below you just put the number of your flight there your name and uh, you upload your e-ticket that you got and they do everything for you so they will fight for me these lawyers there and they say i'm uh, entitled to compensation up to 400 euros but uh, yeah of course they take their own share so i think they take like one third but for two minutes work you do this you just upload the flights and send them your ticket and they'll do all the fighting in the courts and everywhere so we'll see how this works out in about two to three months because now that they they, uh, they send the claim to this visa stupid visa um, yeah they have to two months time to reply so 60 days they have to reply to them and if that doesn't work they can take them to court you know so yeah <laughs> oh, i got lawyers fighting for me <laughs> and my rights my flying rights Damn you, Vizer, damn you. <laughs> so, we have that claim. Uh, I'll put it in the link below, in my description below in the links. One of them is uh, this uh, air, air, air lawyers. Let's call them air lawyers, okay? They fight for me to get maybe this money. So maybe I even get like 300 euros from this shit. <laughs> So that would be nice. I will let you know in uh, coming months. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, I also managed to book the Flix bus from Slovenia to the airport. However, it was not the same schedule as the one before. The one before left here like two o'clock in the night and came there early in the morning, which was my preferred option. But now when I canceled that uh, bus, uh, I didn't see it on the schedule anymore. So I guess all the seats were sold out. So my only mm, option is, was to buy a ticket, um, which is one day before. So I will leave Slovenia at uh, 8 o'clock in the evening, 8 p.m. and I will arrive to Vienna at about uh, 1 o'clock in the night. So I'll arrive to the airport at 1 o'clock in the night. So yeah, guess what follows? Uh, I'll have to spend the night in Vienna airport, yeah. But okay. Uh, so I'll make a video how to spend the night in Vienna airport, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I think uh, I can go to the lounge there, uh, free of charge because of the diner's card. Uh, so the lounge opens at 4.30, so half past four in the morning. So at least four hours I'll be there waiting in the airport, doing nothing now. Uh, now the only problem is if I'll have the boarding pass or not, if I will not have it. Then I cannot go to the through the security and to the lounge. If I, they will give me the boarding pass, I could maybe go through the security and go to the lounge. So I hope they will give me the boarding pass on email. But who knows? Who knows? If not, I will have to wait until ten o'clock in the morning. So from one o'clock in the night till ten o'clock in the morning, being stuck in um, Vienna. Austria airport <laughs> I'll I'll record it I'll record it for you guys so you see how it's like uh, now it's winter here about zero I guess in Austria which is a bit further north it's even more cold there I hope it will not snow until uh, that day it's like two two more days I think yeah and the first December will come um, so yeah, let's see how that works out. Uh, so I got my hotel now. I got my airport transfer from uh, Sharm El Sheikh to to Sharm El Sheikh hotel. I have my bus ticket from Slovenia to to Vienna airport. So all is settled now. The only thing, Wizer has to take me from Vienna to Sharm El Sheikh, <laughs> and we're good to go. And I hope they will do this. Uh, they will let me know tomorrow or the day after. I hope they, 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 they do not reschedule. And another good thing, yeah, maybe I get some money from this because they cancelled. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll let you know about how everything will be going. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, that's all the updates from me. And be sure to like this video, uh, subscribe. Or just comment, tell me your thoughts, what you think about it. If you have ever had a similar experience. If your fi flight got cancelled, what did you do? How did you handle it? I strongly recommend you use my link below uh, if your flight was cancelled. And check if you are entitled to compensation. You, if this happened in the last six years, you can do it and they have to pay so uh you check you click on that link and you just put your flight details your name and the ticket you upload the ticket and they will tell you if you're um, entitled to get the compensation money it's you can get up to 600 euros that's like a little more than 600 dollars so <laughs> it's worth it it depends on the distance that your flight was uh and if there isn't any higher power uh you are you have very good chances of getting some money from that so yeah guys 
Take care and see you in my next one. <laughs> bye bye. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel, put a like there and see you next time.